Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scrap Daddy Shenanigans. Thank you guys for choosing to watch this video. Today we're gonna do some. Today we're gonna watch the dogs run like crazy to the back fence after a squirrel that they cannot catch. And while they're doing that, we're gonna continue with this gold. So, um, these boards all have a little bit of gold. Some that you can see and some that you might not know is there if you haven't dealt with this stuff before. Uh, some of these I just happen to know have more gold and others I just found out as I was processing them. Um, they come from just random electronics. These are from cell phone batteries. This is a car key fob. That is a digital watch. Um, just a couple of random things. That is an old house phone. Not sure what the others came off of, but here they are. So you can see the gold that's here, but underneath this, all of these traces that are covered with the green solder mask are also gold flashing. Same with this watch. With this piece, you can see where I've already scraped a little bit off and the board is all gold underneath. Same for this one. We can see the gold tracing around the outside but underneath the green solder mask is also gold and that's the same for pretty much all these this phone board if you didn't know what you were looking for might have got tossed most people expect to see gold flashing here where the buttons are and there is none you can see just a tiny spot of gold flashing there and a little bit on the back this might have got overlooked by someone who didn't know what it really was you can look here where I've scratched it and underneath the green solder mask this entire board is gonna be gold flashed so what we're gonna do today is process these first thing first I am gonna sit them up on my hot plate and completely depopulate them of everything we want these boards completely clean one thing I'm gonna do before putting it on the heat is remove all of these little capacitors. I don't like when they get hot. Sometimes they pop and fizz and put out a pungent smoke. Every once in a while they pop with a little bit of pressure and I just don't like that. So I'm gonna remove those with some cutters and then get everything depopulated. I think y'all probably know how that goes if you're watching this video. But if you don't, basically you use a heat source, whether it's a hot plate, a small toaster oven, a heat gun, anything that works and you heat the solder to its melting point and take everything off the board. So what I'm going to do is get these boards cleaned up and then we'll move on to the next step. So here's our boards completely um, depopulated and you can see there's still quite a bit of solder on them. So what we're going to do is put them in this beaker and then we're going to add what I call tin solution. And this is just half hydrochloric acid, half water. What this is gonna do is dissolve the solder, put it up here on a little bit of heat, let it get hot and dissolve that solder off of those boards. Now that most of our solder has dissolved, we'll take these out and rinse them off with some water, and get them ready to remove the green solder mask. Now that our boards are free of solder, we're going to just place them in this baking dish and we're going to add concentrated lye and let it heat up. Then we'll just be using a toothbrush to remove the green solder mask from the boards. This is not an instructional video. This is how I process gold recovered from electronics. Do not attempt these processes unless you have a working knowledge of the acids and the reactions being done. Proper personal protective equipment must be used. You're definitely going to want safety glasses. A face shield would be even better because the bristles on your brush can splash it onto your face and hands. You're going to want to wear some gloves and you're going to want to be real careful. Also, you're going to want to keep some baking soda nearby. In case you spill a significant amount of acid, the baking soda can quickly neutralize it. So what we're going to do is just get in here and try to 
see if any of this green solder mask can start coming off any of these boards. We're getting a little bit off of it. Some of these bigger ones, if they're putting up a little bit of a fight, one thing you can do is get it out of your solution and just take a flat blade and lightly run back and forth. Get the rest of that green solder off of there. You don't want to push hard, you just want to run a blade, some flat, dull blade back and forth pull most of the rest of that green solder mask off. Oh yeah, that looks good. Next, I'm just gonna rinse these off with some water and dry them, get them ready to go into the AP solution. All right guys, so here is what we got. Some of these are really, really nice. This phone board, all that gold flashing under there. To think of what it looked like before and to think that we could have passed on all this gold without even knowing it was there is crazy. That one is really good. This one was the key fob. It has some really nice looking gold on it. These other boards, they were a little bit stubborn to get all the green off, but we got it. They look pretty good. Really thin gold flashing, but we'll take what we can get here. Anything is better than letting it go to the trash. These, I'm not real sure about. It looked like gold at first, but I'm wondering if it's not silver instead of gold. They're a little bit older, and they came out of a low-grade electronic, if I remember. So I'm not 100%, so I might sit those to the side and just process what I got here. These are the little PCBs from cell phone batteries. That was a um, digital watch. Got some pretty good gold traces in that. This was a phone jack. So yeah, that's what we got. Now let's get them into the AP. So that's that. We'll let them sit in the AP for a couple days, give it a few shakes and wait for the gold foils to start coming off. Got pretty dark, looking pretty good. I gave it a shake. And I see plenty of gold foils flying around in there. It's been two days since we put it in solution, so we should be good to go. We're gonna go ahead and start filtering it. First, we're gonna get everything we can over into this beaker. And we'll get the boards into this container. I'm gonna rinse this out real good with some water. Our boards look nice and clean for the most part. I see a couple of gold foils still stuck, but we should be able to rinse those off with some water. Get our filter set up. Just a regular coffee filter. All I'm using at this point. After we filter through this, we'll filter through a cotton filter to catch the really small pieces that we miss. I'll be real careful here. While that's filtering, I went ahead and rinsed off the boards and they look great. Not one bit of gold left on them. They're all totally clean. Got the foils from them down in here, some pretty good looking foils. Only one held on to a little bit of its gold, this little piece right here, but that's fine, no problem. We'll just throw it back in the AP and deal with it in our next batch. But the rest of these came out really great and I love that phone board, just to think that 90% of people wouldn't even have noticed would have just passed on it because there was so little gold platings on the board to begin with. And to just look and find out that that whole board was gold plated and now to see it totally clean, I really like that. That's a good feeling. So I'm going to get back to this, let this filter out and see what we got when we're done. Now we're gonna filter the water with the foils in it. 
through the same filter but into a different container because we don't want to add all that water into our acid peroxide solution. Now I'm just going to use the spray bottle to get everything rinsed down to the bottom of the filter and we'll see what we got left after that. All right, guys, I got the filter pulled out and here is our gold foils. Looks pretty good for just a handful of boards that we processed. Whatever you want to do with this in the next step is up to you. You can go directly to Aqua Regia and dissolve your gold. You can continue to collect it. You can let it dry and put it in a jar, which is what I'm going to do with this. In the meantime, I'm going to finish filtering the AP solution through a cotton filter to catch some of the very, very, very fine gold flakes that made it through our coffee filter. But that's it, guys gold from fully gold plated boards i appreciate y'all watching if you haven't subscribed already please take a second to hit that subscribe button like and share the channel scrap daddy shenanigans at scrap daddy 365 y'all have a good one go out there and find some gold